Fox 29. This is Good Day Philadelphia. We've been talking about it all morning. You won't believe who we have in the studio this morning. Al Roker. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming in this morning. I'm glad to be here. Thank Talk you. about this team. Why you? Arena football? I, I'm a football fanatic. I go into mourning the day after the Super Bowl. I wonder if I'm going to make it till the next preseason. A friend of mine who's in the sports marketing business educated me to what the AFL was all about. Mm -hmm. Fan friendliness, affordability, the access to the players, the, the front rows are considered the nosebleed seats because the players fall right into the seats. Yeah. It's an 18-year-old league. It's, it's growing every year. It's on network television now. And when I looked at it from a business model, it started to make more and more sense. I know Philadelphia is a football crazy town as I've lived equidistant between Manhattan and, and Philly. I'd come down here plenty to see various sporting events and rock shows. I did one of my albums here. And the opportunity for an expansion team in Philadelphia came. I teamed up with a local real estate developer named Craig Spencer, who's connected in the area. And I'll do what's the marketing aspects of it. We've hired Ron Jaworski to be our team president. So we, we, we've got something that I feel that people can really wrap their arms around and be a part of. And Before you heard we, about our fans. We, oh, tremendous. Before we toss <laughs> the weather, John, tell uh -huh. the truth and shame the devil. Eagles fan, Giants fan. I'm a Giants fan, willing okay. to take right. my lumps. <laughs> <laughs> you chilled out there, is cool. right? At one point, with I really played the vet. Yeah. I played Giants six times now. Right. We played the vet here, go the last show ever. Yeah. All right, here's what we're going to have you do. This okay. is where you have to be put to work. <laughs> Could you toss it on out to Sue Serio? Yeah. She's standing by with the weather. Sue Serio in the weather is right here on Fox. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? This is in the Fox Traffic Center. I'm Dorothy Krishuk. John Bon Jovi, back to you with all those other people. <laughs> oh, thank you, darling. Did you ever think you'd do that, Dorothy? Never. Talk to bon John Bon Jovi. Oh, I'm gosh. on the same screen. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Air kisses. <laughs> oh, I'm still dying. <laughs> How about some studio kisses? Okay. <laughs> now the Fox show's getting racy, folks. Yeah, we're, we're all starstruck here. <laughs> all right, so we heading out to Janet. Is that the deal? Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, now, now they're, we, they're giving us the right time now. to actually well, talk about the, <laughs> to talk about the arena. Causing football. confusion around here, I see the director. Well, we're a little flustered. Bear with us. We're huge fans. Um, I mean, you totally made my high school year. Can I just tell you, I graduated in '89. So did Jen, and we were so I'm all old. about. Uh, <laughs> You're older than me. Yeah. We're old too. But listen, let's talk about some of your musical ventures. First of all, Bounce has been out a year now. Yeah. How does that compare to some of your previous projects? You love everyone like they're one of your children. You know, some of them are uglier than the others, but you don't want to admit it. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and Bounce was one of my favorites, and, and we toured it hard, and we did what we had to do with it. Um, I really enjoy when I make a record. In, in order for me to put it out, I have to be very proud of it. Right. So Bounce did what it had to do, and uh, I think the people liked it. It was pretty successful. You know, it was number two album. We were behind Elvis. It wasn't a number one record, but... <laughs> You know, if you're going to come in second to anyone, it might as well be Elvis. And that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Now, you're not just good behind a mic. You're also great on the TV screen. And here on, uh, on the Fox Network, we were so lucky to have you on Ally McBeal. <laughs> I was really impressed with how, how great you made that character come alive. Well, thank you. I enjoyed my time out there. It wasn't anything I ever intended to do. It's another one of those beautiful mistakes. Yeah. I, I never thought I'd become an actor, but I wrote a soundtrack and it led me to making movies. And then I was writing a record and this was post 9-11 and Richie and I were both commuting as he lives on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. um, at post 9-11 and with what was the pending movie strike, I got an opportunity to do this three month stint on television. But what it really did was give he and I a chance to write the Bounce record in California. Right. And uh, so I did Allie out there. And you know, it's just another one of those things that you say, okay, I'll try it. I'm, I'm, you know. Doesn't like an acting gig on a hit show. I mean, yeah. that show did so well. Yeah, it was great. John, you women have been <laughs> fawning over John Bon Jovi. And the reason I bring the subject up is we've got some videotape of what was going on here on the set before you even <laughs> came downstairs. No. This, is, this is, you know, what's going on before you get down here. The girl's putting on their makeup. So, now, I, I'm wondering, what is it... <laughs> You're so busted. I'm going home now. What, what is it like for you? What is it like for you now? I mean, uh, we've we probably got women job. lined up out in front of the station. Oh, right? that's funny. <laughs> I, I should just start selling makeup. I can make an extra buck. There you know? yeah. <laughs> I used all mine up. You know, the girl says visit. she wants a camera, you know, picture taken. You sell her one of the cardboard cameras. <laughs> the soul needs some money, believe me. We're, we're a startup operation. But, uh, but you've still got the women that are chasing you around, even though you're a happily married man. 
Thank goodness. I'm not complaining. You know? <laughs> I'm not complaining one hour. Work here. <laughs> it's a good job. It's a good job, and somebody's got to do it. Might as well be me. Yeah. Now, you seem so grounded. And talk about being married. Heather Locklear is now a part of your... I'm married to Heather Locklear. No, it's part of your little group now, oh. Richie. Yeah. How cool is it that you're this guy from Jersey? Obviously, you've made a big name for yourself, but that you're hanging out with these types of people, celebrities, and they're, it seems like they're friends of yours. Most of them are morons that you'd rather be friends with Andy and Joey from the neighborhood. Yeah. Believe me, it's, a, it, it's nothing to get yourself too impressed with. Um, the band, on the other hand, and, and, and Richie and I have been together, you know, the, the band has been together for 20 years. And uh, I think one of the great reasons why we've been this successful is we never did move to Hollywood. Yeah. And we never played that game. And, uh, and we shun it. And we, we stayed home. And, uh, and that, that's a big deal. So wh when, you, when you talk about a Jersey attitude, and I live in Jersey, wh define that. Wh what's a Jersey attitude? We like our, our junk food. We love, love our football teams. We, we like that for, we have four seasons, so even though we complain through every day of the <laughs> 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 no. and, and pray for spring. <clears throat> I, I think that um, you know what neighborhood is. You know what the community is. You go out to, to the island of Hollywood, where they, they, uh, they call everyone else the flyover people on their way to New York. It, there's no sense of that. Um, there's no sense of community. There's no football. <laughs> you right. can't get a good pizza. So <laughs> what, what good is the place? There's none. There are so many uh, different <clears throat> fan sites out there for you. I was looking at a couple like Backstage with Bon Jovi, et cetera, et cetera. Uh -huh. When you read, I mean, if you read some of those people really worship the ground you walk on. Some people have been at your concerts and gotten wedding proposals. I mean, in different ways, you've been a big part of a lot of different lives. Do you ever go there and look at the sites and, and just sort of feel good or I mean what does that do for you? I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I get to the you know the front page of the site I go ah I don't know. It's a know. generational thing. I was it, on the air it, yesterday. My kids go bing 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 bing. But it's me I get to that front page and then I lose interest. So hey speaking of generations George. and speaking of George uh, we showed this yesterday just to hype up you coming here. Look at this. Your big hair days. Ah. First of all I love them. There's George. You and George. George, you haven't aged a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you haven't either, John. We just changed our hair. <laughs> Here's Scott Schotter. On the plane, on the way to Moscow. Yeah. Oh, do you remember that moment, honestly? I remember that airplane flight. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell you that. Wow. All right, you, we need you to toss now to um, Janet Zapala. She's another huge fan. In fact, Janet and I have had discussions about you before. She's standing by live. Yeah. Do you Janet Zapala is down on South Street with an artist who's uh, painted some stuff that we're going to see right here. <laughs> Go on, Janet, do your thing. John, I'm glad you reminded me because I completely forgot what I was going to do. Here <laughs> Good to see you. We're in the Fox Traffic Center. I'm Dorothy Krishok, tossing back once again to John Bon Jovi. <laughs> and the other three people. Yeah, I know. Yeah, whoever they are. <laughs> Thanks, Dorothy. Hey, Dorothy, we're going to say goodbye to John Bon Jovi. We're going to get our picture Reluctant taken with okay. him, and we'll take a little right. break. There you go. You ready? Hold on. Here we go. Get over. George, get in there. I'll take a quick and a carry Lee right there. Okay, now, George, get in. Here's a, <laughs> That's we'll a good one. A Smile. <laughs> good. <laughs> now, you get so we totally lost control of the show. Uh, we got a lot of emails. People wanted us to ask questions of uh, John Bon Jovi. We We're know, now reading but then them. We lost it. I, I feel like I can't perform. I couldn't perform when he was sitting there. Like suddenly, I'm different now. My life has changed. He was, he was a good sport. <laughs> we took pictures. Look, that's you guys with him. We're going to show you guys um, so much part tomorrow. Of my high school year, probably, honestly. If we can get some computer person to get those. Pictures out of your camera. He was really cool. He says he'll come back when the team actually, I guess they're going to start in February. And he says he wants to sell the tickets. We want to show you the website. So if you buy the tickets, maybe he'll come back to our show. I've got, uh, actually, the, I've got the John Bon Jovi website up on Let's the screen right okay. now. And, it, and I'll t here, the, the interesting thing here, it talks about electric football comes to Philadelphia. And I wanted to ask him about this, too. Why are they calling it electric football? Because, As opposed to arena? Uh, yeah, because electric football to me is that game that vibrates. Which none of us remember because you're But John saying. remembers. So electric yeah. football? He also you is mean as, like a video as, game? As technology challenged as I But anyway, we're going to be having so much more tomorrow. You better be here. You never yeah. know who's going to show up on the I don't know if I can day. do it. I'm See you at 5.30.